Today, I'm going to try Linux for the very first time. I'm going to be using this old laptop I got from Facebook Marketplace. This is the HP Pavilion DV7. It's got an AMD A8 4500M quad-core processor, has 6 gigs of RAM, and Radeon HD 7640G graphics. So this is a really old laptop. It came with Windows 7, which shows you just how old this thing is. Uh, I did install Windows 10 on it. It did okay. Now, I've heard Linux is a great way to breathe new life into an old laptop or computer. So today, I'm going to try installing Linux Mint on this thing. Uh, I'm a complete knob when it comes to Linux. So let's see how this goes. Okay, first thing I got to do is head to the Linux Mint website, and there I'm going to find uh, the download section to download the ISO. And then from there, I'm going to flash that ISO to a USB flash drive. So here's the Linux Mint website. You can uh, scroll around, get more information if you like. So here's the download section. Now right here, I can download the latest version right there. All, or I can go to where it says all versions, and there's a couple of different versions of Linux Mint. There's Cinnamon, there's Mate, and then there's XFCE. So um, I'm going to download Cinnamon, which is the basically the main version, I believe, of Linux Mint. But XFCE is basically the uh, you know for really low end hardware. And you'll see there is an installation guide that they have here, uh, which is really nice, easy to follow, easy to understand. And you can just read through it. And this section that says choose the right edition gives you a little bit more detail about the three different versions of Linux Mint that you can install. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and download the latest version of Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this part a little bit. And now that the download is complete, I'm going to stick this USB flash drive into my main PC and then use the program to flash the ISO to this USB flash drive. And the program I'm going to be using here is Belena Etcher. Really simple to set up. And now here I just select the target, which is going to be that USB drive right here, the SanDisk one. And I'm going to hit select. And then hit flash and let it do its thing. And now that it is completed, I can remove the USB drive from here and bring it on over to the laptop. Okay, so the idea here is to be able to boot from the USB flash drive. However, I was having an issue where the uh, laptop just simply wasn't recognizing the USB flash drive. So I don't know if I used the wrong type of USB flash drive or what, but this one just wasn't working out. And there you see it says no bootable device. Okay, so I went ahead and tried a different USB flash drive and it did work. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up and running. All right, I edited out the video, but after about three and a half minutes, it started up and, you know, everything looks good. So this right now, it's only running Linux Mint on the USB flash drive. I do have an SSD in the laptop. So basically at this point, you can test it out, see if it works before you kind of uh, completely install it on the uh, main hard drive on the laptop. So just moving around here real quick, I mean, everything seems pretty snappy. All right, so now I'm going to install Linux Mint onto the hard drive on the laptop. So I just click 
install Linux Mint here on the top left. And I'm just going to follow in the instructions. Probably going to take a few minutes for this to uh, totally get set up. So first, as you can see here, it's going to ask me, you know, what language I use. I'm going to click continue. Uh, my keyboard layout. And now at this point, you're just going to keep, you know, uh, following the process step by step. And here it's going to ask me basically to uh, erase the hard drive that's currently in the laptop and it's going to install Linux Mint on it. So I'm going to just fast forward through this part of the process because it's probably going to take quite a few minutes. Okay, so after installation was complete, it is asking me to uh, restart the laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, at this point, I did freak out a little. I don't know if this was a normal part of the process. All these looks like command lines going down the screen. Uh, was a little concerned. And this went on for about a minute or two. But then the laptop restarted and I got the welcome to Linux Mint uh, pop up here and I was good to go. All right, let's try to uh, just start a Word document here in Linux Mint. Let's see how quick and easy it is or how it's supposed to be. Let's see. All right, so uh, I guess writer document, I'll click that. All right, hit OK there. And yeah, now we could just start typing away. Hello. And it works pretty well. And Linux Mint also has its own little kind of like app store here. I'm going to download the uh, VLC media player here. And, you know, you can install a bunch of stuff. A lot of the same kind of programs you would find on a Windows laptop as well. And you see here I also have Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and install Steam on this. But... You know, really not going to use this for gaming. I just, uh, you know, based on previous tests, you know, not really too powerful, this laptop. But it should be good for, you know, everyday use like email, YouTube, watching, uh, web browsing, stuff like that. And we also have RetroArch here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'll go ahead and install that as well. And we do have, uh, you know, just a simple file explorer here. So I got to say, this is pretty snappy. Things are opening, you know, pretty quickly. All right. Now this uh, has Firefox built in. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, uh, get this going, and we'll try to browse the web and also uh, try some YouTube video watching. All right, no issues, you know, just simply browsing the web. Let's try, uh, you know, try to open up a YouTube video here. So all in all, 26 bucks for the PC in here. So when did I get... So when I was trying YouTube out on this laptop with Windows 10 installed, I got a lot of dropped frame rates, you know, while playing videos. And here it is again, getting a lot of dropped frame rates here. So, um, you know, bit of a bummer in that aspect. Um, you know, I don't know what can fix that. I don't know if I added more RAM to this laptop or it's just kind of is what it is with this processor. You know, I'm really not sure. So to wrap up this video, I'm just going to show how long the boot time is to get into Linux Mint. So, I mean, overall, I think that it is snappier than Windows 10. Uh, great for emailing and web browsing, simple office work. Uh, the setup would work really well. Uh, definitely a bummer about the dropped uh, frame rates in YouTube, though. Uh, so let me know if you use Linux in the comments below or if you tried it and then went back to Windows. I'm very curious. Uh, so that's it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.